Hey YouTube, this is the Moro Barong Military Bolo. Uh, the price on this was only $25. The blade length, 16 inches. All right, and the handle length, 9 inches. All right, and this is, this is a great piece. Uh, a great budget barong. You can see there, it has an incredibly, uh, it has a very high polish. All right, and it has a, a brass bolster and it is pinned through there hardwood handle uh, it is smooth very nice and when I get something like this I like to take it for a spin I like to uh, cut something alright so let me let me roll in that footage and you can see uh, let's see how this thing cuts alright YouTube I was pretty impressed uh, for such a for such a bargain price, um, I was pretty impressed how this thing cut. You you saw that, you know, the bottom part of the jug just didn't move at all, and it just went through with no resistance. Um, you know, I don't have any doubts that this could could shear could do shearing cuts uh, right through. Oh, hold on, you can see the 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 mirror polish. It's reflecting the uh, the china cabinet behind me in my here. There you go. All right, but as I was saying, this could, I mean, it'll, it'll go right through arms, legs, necks. Um, it is a fearsome weapon. It is fairly thick. Okay, it has no flex. It does, they call it a machete, but it does not flex like many machetes do. It's, it's rigid. It's, it's like a sword. All right. All right, now let me show you more of a close-up. You can see there it, it is full flat ground and uh, the edge, uh, you know, it's not like a razor, but um, I was completely satisfied with its cutting performance. And you see the bolster there, a close up of the handle. Now this traditional shape is very useful, very interesting, because with, with powerful swings, this this little horn it keeps the barong from flying out of your hand okay it's not gonna fly out of your hand uh, you might slip down a ways but you're still gonna have a strong grip alright so very functional traditional and functional nice alright now this barong is stainless steel okay obviously uh, that's how they keep the price so low it is stainless steel if you're looking for a more expensive barong this is the Chris Cutlery Combat Barong, right? And you can see a, a size comparison between the two barongs. The budget one is uh, larger. The main difference, aside from the blade length, is that uh, the Chris Cutlery is high carbon steel, and this is stainless. Okay, the Chris Cutlery runs about a hundred and thirty dollars. All right, so if you're looking for, um, you know, a, a higher quality but more expensive barong. You know, this is imported from the Philippines. Okay, Chris Cutlery Combat Barong. But for the budget, this is great. All right. It is manufactured in Pakistan. All right, that's how they keep the price down. Now, I live in, I am part Filipino, but I do live in the United States, so we don't have jungles here. So as far as jungle usage, you know, I couldn't tell you. But as far as if you're looking for a budget item, to collect and also to practice martial arts I do practice the Filipino blade arts and if you're looking for a live blade you know I assume you've you've worked out with sticks and with training blades okay if you're looking for your first live blade a budget item I found this to be excellent and it's also excellent just for uh, for demonstration cutting you want to cut water jugs cut things in your yard excellent all right, and, and you see the box that it comes in, kind of a Captain America logo. Pretty cool. Um, I have a strong interest in collecting barongs. I just like, uh, you know, being a, a traditional Filipino tool and weapon. I like them quite a bit. And this is the, the best quality one that I could find for, for the price, for such an affordable price. I mean, heck, I have, I have beater folder, folding knives that cost more than this whole thing. Uh, so I was very pleased with it. It does cut. Let me just give you a quick look at the sheath. This is a sheath. Fairly thick stitched leather sheath. See that there? 
the loop there. That's the sheath. Overall, for the price, very happy with the blade. I think anyone who practices Filipino martial arts or just wants to collect a barong would be very happy with this piece. Alright YouTube, I hope you enjoyed the review. Stay tuned for many more. I am out of here.